So I suppose uh, when I seen about the fellowship, I was a new um, member of staff to the university, new to the area of academia, new to research, very in the very early infancy stages of research and development. And when I seen the fellowship from Evidence Synthesis Ireland, it really, for me, resonated as a great opportunity to get on that research ladder, to gather the skills and to gather the knowledge I needed but in a very well scaffolded and supported network because through the ESI fellowship, you have a mentor, you have a team that know your, this is your starting point. It's earlier in your career. And there's just such support and help and advice. You're not on your own. You're really part of a team and they understand that this is a new learning opportunity for you, that you may have some skills, you may not, but the, the whole premise of the evidence synthesis um fellowship is to give you the confidence and the skill and the ability to start maybe at that lower rung of the ladder and work your way upwards towards being a more advanced um researcher as well god lots of things you keep where do I even start it's been such an amazing learning opportunity for me because I suppose when I came into it I had a very basic understanding of systematic reviews I'd never done one I didn't know what went into it perfecting my own research writing ability and writing for publication and how to apply for grants, how to write proposals, how to publish protocols. That's all been really an important part of it. It's not just learning about how to do a systematic review. It's all the other elements and parts that come with it as well that I can take from it and apply to my future research career as well. You wouldn't think the two are directly connected but it's just amazing the opportunities that have arisen for me all because of taking that step and that leap to apply for the Evidence Synthesis Ireland Fellowship. It's really opened so many doors in the space of a couple of months, which has yeah. been amazing. As an ESI fellow, I get free um free attendance at these online and in-person webinars so it really makes it accessible to attend them that you're not saying oh I can only attend one or two because it may be a barrier of cost you can go to as many as you want and I've done the online training on systematic reviews through ESI online and that was fantastic it was three days of experts in the area of systematic reviews breaking it down into the different steps and and how you start from your protocol development up until publication so the ESI webinars and training have been great because they've really supported both my fellowship development, but also my other area of interest in terms of scope and reviews, that it's not just been restricted to systematic reviews because that's what's part of the fellowship and the project that I'm on, but it's opened those avenues as well for increasing my knowledge around scope and reviews or even on meta-analyses and different things like that that I wouldn't have maybe considered doing or investigating before. But I don't think I appreciated the value of getting it until I really got into it. At the start, it was, yeah, that's really going to help my research, but it's helped my teaching, my academia perspective, my networking opportunities, the opportunity to travel, to meet other people, to get to the Ectrams conference in Amsterdam, to get to go to Poland, to meet all these people that are spearheading research in the area of, of MS care and rehab and everything that comes with it I would be telling people my advice be apply for it you know sometimes I think people are a bit reluctant in it's extra work yes it's extra work but the benefits outweigh whatever extra work is involved in it and it's not a significant amount in terms of the hours and the days and the commitments required and um, so it's really been just such a fantastic opportunity for me and I would highly encourage Everybody, not even those, Nikita, in the early stages of their career, it's open to everybody that might want to learn a new methodology for their research, maybe something they're not familiar with. But to have that support at scaffolding has been fantastic because you're not on your own. There's always somebody there to bounce questions off of, to ask, and nobody ever makes you feel that it's a stupid question. It's all learning together, which has been great.